Topic, protective clothing. Protective clothing. This week, you will investigate the special clothing worn by people who work in emergency situations. For example, these rescue workers could be from the fire department or the National Sea Rescue Institute, NSRI. Emergency services. Dangerous situations such as fires, floods and accidents usually happen unexpectedly. People need to take immediate action to save the lives of the people involved. This type of situation is called an emergency. Emergencies don't always mean that many people are forced away from their homes. An emergency may affect only one family or even just one person. For example, a house fire or a wildfire can threaten a group of houses. Other examples of emergencies are when swimmers get into difficulty out at sea or when fishermen are in trouble on a sinking boat. People who work in emergency services are called emergency workers. They are specially trained to respond to emergencies and they must be ready to respond quickly to a call for help. Emergency services include the fire department, police, ambulances, and sea rescue services. Emergency workers go into dangerous situations so they need to wear protective clothing. Emergency workers wear clothes that are designed to protect them from danger. These clothes are known as personal protective equipment or PPE. Experts study the dangers caused by emergencies and design and make clothes, shoes, helmets and other items that will protect emergency workers during these situations. Activity 1. Emergency Services 1. Think about emergency situations that can happen in your community. Complete the table below. List as many as you can think of. 2. List the emergency services that can be called to help in each situation. Write them in the second column of the table. Clothing for emergency workers. Emergency personnel wear protective clothing that is specially designed to protect them from the dangers they could face in an emergency. The materials we use to make any kind of clothing are called textiles. Special textiles are used to make protective clothing. These textiles are made from woven or knitted materials that can have chemicals added to them to give them special qualities such as waterproofing or fire. Resistance Textiles and materials used to manufacture emergency worker clothes. Kevlar is a textile that is stronger and lighter than steel. Kevlar fibers are strong and are difficult to break. It is also water resistant. Watch the video about Kevlar. Nomex is a material that is resistant to heat, flames and chemicals. It gets added to other textiles and prevents it from melting in temperatures up to 370 degrees degrees C. Rubber is a strong, waterproof, elastic substance made from the sap of the rubber tree. It can also be produced chemically by using petroleum byproducts. It is used for making tires, boots and other products. Nylon is a synthetic fabric. It is lightweight, strong and relatively waterproof. It can be made more waterproof by rubbing it with wax. Teflon is a material that prevents things sticking to it. It repels water and can be used as a waterproofing material. PVC is a plastic material that is used for many purposes, for example to make clothing or shoes. It is a waterproofing material. PVC stands for polyvinyl chloride. Neoprene is a type of synthetic rubber that is flexible and elastic. It is waterproof and wind resistant. Synthetic, not natural. Like cotton or wool. It is manufactured in a factory. Firefighting gear. Firefighters need protection from flames and heat. The clothes they wear must also still allow for movement. Both the jacket and pants have three layers. The outer layer is made of Kevlar, which is fire resistant. The middle layer is made of Nomex, which protects the firefighter from the heat of the fire. The inner layer consists of a moisture barrier that keeps the firefighter dry. There are reflective strips on their clothing so that they can be seen in the smoke. They also wear helmets, heat-resistant gloves and hoods made from Nomex. 
Their boots are heat resistant, oil resistant, slip resistant, chemical resistant, flame resistant, and made of waterproof material. They are reinforced with steel to protect their feet from falling objects. Sea Rescue Workers Gear Sea Rescue Workers need protection from water, rain, the wind, and cold. Their outer layer of clothing must be completely waterproof. This type of clothing is covered with waterproofing materials such as PVC, plastic, rubber or Teflon. Divers and rescue swimmers will wear wetsuits. Wetsuits are made from a textile called neoprene. It's a good insulator of heat and therefore the rescuer will not lose body heat. Wetsuits allows a thin layer of water to be trapped between a person's body and the wetsuit. This layer of water is heated by the person's body and keeps the diver or rescue swimmer warm. Watch the video. Activity 2. Clothing for Emergency Workers Now that you have learned about some of the protective clothes used by emergency workers, you can design some protective clothes of your own. Firefighters and sea rescuers wear the specific clothes mentioned on the previous pages. Think about the other emergency services that you listed in the exercise, emergency services. 1. Write down at least three emergency situations that they may be called to deal with. 2. Write a list of special protective clothes you think they should wear in each situation. 3. Write down the textiles their clothes should be made of. 4. Draw a picture of one type of protective clothing that you have written about. On the next page. Activity 3. Investigate protective clothing. Group investigation work together as a class. Choose one of the emergency professions you have learned about. Firefighting or sea rescue. Discuss the special clothes that these emergency workers wear to help protect them in their duties. Use the Information in the above pages, but also try to find extra information from people you know. For example, maybe you know someone who works at the fire department and can talk to them. After you have done your investigation and you have all the information, complete a table like the one below. In the first column, write down an item of clothing or equipment that you have learned about. Then answer the questions in the other columns. You should say what the item of clothing or equipment is made from and say why it is made from that material. Here are two examples to get you started. After you have completed the table, answer the following questions on your own. 1. Why is it important that protective textiles are used to make clothes for emergency workers? 2. In what other emergency situations should special clothing or equipment be used? 3. Think about the refugees you learned about last week. What kind of emergencies could happen in their camp? 